guys, it's Queen Nisha, and in today's video, I will be reacting really to episode 17 of No Guns Life. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> mm -hmm. Best girl! Give it to me. Unfortunately, no, you're not. Of course not. Yeah, because even if they did, like, pfft, showed it last week. Exactly what she means. Of course not. <laughs> okay, because remember last week he the the deal between Tetsuro and the cult leader. Well, no, the cult leader is essentially him and his dad, but the professor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Maybe this might be the episode when um, the other extent and that girl who, um, the bob-haired girl with the lollipop might come back again. Because they were interesting characters and I would like for them to come back, but I mean, who freaking knows? Cause she's in the opening, so it'll make the most sense for her to just come back. I'm just saying. I really need them to release this damn OST because I fooled.
which is what? See, it also makes sense that these three would still be watching over them. No, I think that guy is out there freaking out over something. I mean, I mean, he is. He, he really is. <laughs> uh, it was, that was then, this is now. He forgave you! You were just feeling some type of way, and then you got bullied and it's like that. Don't worry, girl. I did too. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Honestly, really, he is. <laughs> I mean, cause like y'all can't tell that sexual chemistry between him and Olivia. <laughs> Damn, we really gotta fucking wait two or three days for testable. Oh my god. Did you see though? Oh. <laughs> oh, poor girl. What did you do? Oh. <laughs> of course she did.
Are, are you sure? Because, I mean, you balled up here barely. In the okay. Really? Please tell me you don't have an erection right now. Are you sure? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I mean... Mary, you picked the wrong time to come in. Rosa was just a big misunderstanding. This dude got a fucking nosebleed or erection is too. Yeah, see, he's more into the... <laughs> I mean, it was so obvious, but... <laughs> Big old pervert. <laughs> But you're gonna need some bleach, like some strong behind bleach. Exactly. You probably even took pictures of Rosa when she was uh, running away. Exactly. Makes you wonder how in the world he worked them things. I mean, bruh, like. I don't know. It's a toothpick type ish. Mm -hmm. 
Then he had to get it off the black market, of course. He's basically a pervert. Then let's see some ID or some ish. Of course, I mean, come on, you a pervert, you a man, so of course, you know, you gonna do that ish. If it was a female, you know, I would have no problem if we, <laughs> because we females if we want to see that ish, but like when it's a guy, you be like, really? Now you really a pervert. <laughs> Just like if a female was like, I want to show all the bodies to the men, and I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Please. <laughs> oh my god. This whole episode was like a fan episode for the guys. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> What do you say? Like, please, like, let me just want to look at it. Yes! I want to know. Nope. I mean, because we all know Juso has a really nice back. Like, oh my god. Guy. Yeah, I mean, as he said, he just wanted to show all the men in the world female bodies. I mean, how the hell in the world can you forgive him for that? And be like, yeah, I promise not to do it again, girl. Were you a part of that?
Yeah, but it's still up to him if he wants to use the first one or not. Christina, you don't know Christina, be like, what the fuck? <gasps> Aww. Oh, why would you wait until the last minute to show my son? Oh my god. But yeah, this episode is literally, a, in a nutshell, like a fan service for the guys, like, honestly. <laughs> Which I... I mean, I'm okay with it. I'm not the target demographic, but it was still funny at times. But I mean, it was a <laughs> it was a fan service for the males. It, I mean, but still, I wouldn't know what he's all about, Jizo. It had to be something. I'm guessing, like we'll possibly see it later on in the in the series because we are so close to the end of the series. I just really wouldn't know because. I mean, we all know, and I said, I'm going to say it again, he has a nice bark, I want to see that point, I mean, he has, like, muscles, arms, bitch, I'm sorry, like, oof, I, like, ever since I started watching this dang show last year, I had the biggest crush on this man, not because, like, I, I you know, his VA, because his VA is just, oof, <laughs> and I can't with his VA sometimes, but, like, oh, God, this is, <laughs> this is a really funny interesting weird episode i was expecting her to officially make an appearance back but no i mean i don't know why but this like felt like um not a yeah it kind of just felt like a filler episode but still giving us important things that we really needed to know but now since tetsuro's out there and looking at mary what the heck is gonna happen now i mean Do I feel like he's going to end up telling Mary and Juzo about what happened when he was at the cold place? Like, I, I really don't know. I mean, because the relationship or really the friendship of these three characters, it's just like, would he really be willing? I mean, their friendship is really good. I mean, we've known them for 17 going on 18 episodes officially as of next week. And we've seen these three go in different adventures almost each and every single episode until, you know, there was, like, one or two episodes where it was just Juzo doing, you know, the situation with Rosa and ish like that. But at the same time, I feel like... <clears throat> I feel like Tetsuo is going to keep that secret from both Juzo and Mary only really to protect them. But then at the same time, if he does, it is going to bite him in the ass later on with, like... Hold on, 18. With seven episodes left, like anything could really happen. And as someone who is really an anime only and who wants to read this manga, but I'm going to wait until the show is over and then kind of either read it from the beginning or find out where um, the final episode ends and then kind of continue from that. Like, I'm really excited to see what happens in these next seven episodes because I feel like he's, he's either going to tell them or they're going to find out on their own. I mean, he's going to be looking at these two every single week and wondering if what he's trying to do, if it is the right choice. Because no matter what, there's pros and cons with whatever he, you know, chose at the same time. And then I still want a Tetsuro, um focused episode on his backstory and to see what he was like before, you know, he had his memories disappeared and wiped and how he kind of really doesn't remember stuff about him and everything because there's got to be a reason of why he did that and so still there's a lot of like jumbled mess with this show but that's okay i still enjoy it for what it was and yeah give me a fan service episode with the guys because i mean mm, you, you gave it to the guys today for them like the female fan service for the men just give me the male fan service for me, you know, which are probably other girls who are watching the show. I mean, kind of really, you give me that every single week with you, so, but, I mean, we can't have, like, no freaking beach episode, because wasn't there, I mean, in the opening, they kind of had, like, a beach moment, but that was really just, I don't consider that. I went an episode where maybe they just, like, for a moment, for a couple of minutes, they just go to the beach and hang out, like, something. I just really want to see freaking Juzo, like, have 
happening, kid. I'm sorry. Like, I'm <laughs> emotions <laughs> as a female. I just, I want to see it. I want to see it. Like, let me see it. It's okay if I don't see it, but I mean, mm. then I also feel bad for Rosa. So hopefully maybe Rosa gets to come back again because poor baby. I mean, she walked in on something that she... <laughs> A big old misunderstanding. But, like, as I said, you cannot deny the chemistry between Olivier and Juzo. They have way too much sexual chemistry between those two. So, I like, there's moments where I'm sitting here watching this show when I see these two talk back and forth. And you're like, oh, my God, why haven't they done it yet? But, I mean, Juzo is so dense. <laughs> I mean, it's cute that Rosa has, like, a crush on him because I do, too. And it's just like, mm. He's just so fucking cute. I can't with you. <laughs> he's just so adorable. Like, oh my god. He just like he's like he's literally Ed. <laughs> Ed. Oh my god. Um, not Edward. Uh, was it Al from Full Metal Alchemist? Because uh, it's been a long time since I watched Full Metal Alchemist. I would have to go back and look at the names. But yeah, he like gives me way too many feels for that. He's just so cute and I love him. He's so adorable. He, he, he a teddy bear. Like, even though he is tough as fuck, he is a teddy bear. Like, come on now. But other than that, guys, that was my reaction to towards episode 17 of No Guns Life. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. Really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Thursday for episode 18. Bye, guys.